What's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online glitch video. We're gonna be doing DM modded outfits today. Uh, you know, I haven't made a video on this in a while and a lot of you guys were requesting that I make a, an updated video on the modded outfits, so that's what this is. Um, this is the random outfits. Those of you that were asking me about making custom outfits using the trailer glitch, you can only go one way with that, which means you can only make modded outfits for your second character, and who really wants to make modded outfits for their backup character instead of their main one? So, uh, yeah, I kind of passed on that, and we're going to be doing this video, okay? And we're going to be doing these outfits. I'm going to show you the way to save them. Super easy, no crazy timing, but I'll tell you what you can get, or what you can do to make your chances much higher to get the outfit you want, okay? So, shout out to the founder, who is Shift Team, part of Fart Crew. Shout out to you, Shift. Uh, what you're going to need, obviously, an online character. <clears throat> you want him to be wearing non-glitched clothing. Along with that, you want two bird peyotes that you need to eat in story mode, make a game save after that. You guys know the drill, you know, pretty much what we've needed for all these DM trailer glitches. You always need two bird peyotes. And uh, I'll show you what you do with your main character online. But what you want to do is if you're looking to get blue or white joggers, you need to do the glitch to get random outfits. And then you need to put like a joggers outfit. Like you see all these joggers outfits. You need to put one of these on your short list by pressing Y or triangle. Okay. And this is done completely solo, by the way. I'll show you how to do it without targeting mode or recent activity or anything like that. Okay, so as you can see right there, I, w I was showing you guys that I have a bunch of joggers outfits shortlisted, all right? So how you set up your main character online is you want to go ahead and get a non-glitched outfit like the one you see right here, regular shirt, pants, and shoes, you know, nothing glitched on it, and go ahead and throw on a forwards cap, okay? Nothing else, just, you know, the non-glitched outfit and a forwards cap. You can save this as an outfit if you want or not. It's totally up to you. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and set your spawn location to last location. Okay, or sorry, to random, my bad. Yeah, set it to random, and then you can go ahead and go back to story mode. Okay, so that's pretty much all the setup you need on your, you know, your main character online. Once you're back in story mode, go ahead, open up the interaction menu, and head into director mode. Uh, you know, automatic uh, saves right there in story mode don't really matter. You can have them on or off. Really doesn't make a difference, all right? As long as you made your initial game save with the bird peyotes, you're good. Okay, so as you can see right here on mine, I actually have all these different outfits shortlisted, okay? That's because I did the glitch already and I shortlisted a bunch of outfits. Now, what you need is you need your one of your birds shortlisted and you need one of your joggers outfits shortlisted, which is what I did right here, Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press down and A or down and X at the same time, okay, while I'm hovering over my jogger's outfit, okay? So here we go. I'm going to do it right here in a second, down and A or down and X, and there we go, okay? So you're going to be walking into director mode. Once you're in director mode, just simply hold down on the D-pad and go ahead and go back to the casting trailer, okay? You're going to see me do that right here. If you guys want to know how to get the joggers, you know, shortlisted, I'll actually leave a link to that video down in the pinned comment, all right? I made a video on that a while back. So, once you've done that, you should be hovering over the bird. You saw I was hovering over the bird, but looking at my main character, you're going to go ahead and go into director mode with that. So, just select A or X, and then come back to the casting trailer, okay? Once we've done that, we should be now at the, you know, the bale of hay. We're going to be duping the birds. You guys should know this, all right? We've been duping birds for like a month or so now, okay? So, dupe the birds at a moderate pace, fast pace, whatever works for you. Once the birds can't dupe anymore, like you see right here, back out of this menu, go over to your shortlist actors, and then you want to go ahead and go to the, you know, the main outfit. If you got a bird under there, just wait. You see, if you wait, it could take up to a minute sometimes. Just wait, and your character will duplicate, okay? You just got to wait it out, all right? Just wait, and your character will duplicate. So... I can't get my character on the bale of hay right now, so what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to force dupe my character, and we're going to do that by hitting down an X or down an A at the same time right now, and we should get the same effect that we got before. Right now, I'm going to hold down on the D-pad, and we're going to go ahead and go back to the casting trailer, and when I come back, I should be hovering over the bird but looking at my character, okay? So you see, and actually, I got lucky right here. All I had to do, you saw how he disappeared, he ended up right on the bale of hay, like instantly, okay? So, sometimes he might not do that, okay? It might take a little while, but if he does get on the bale of hay, go ahead and go over to the actors and go to the beach bums, boardwalkers, you know, you can go to anybody you want, and you can start scrolling through the outfits, all right, by hitting square. You guys should know this already, all right? We've been doing this glitch for a while now. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and start scrolling through the outfits. I'm hitting square on PlayStation, and that would be X on Xbox, okay? Now, what you want to look for in outfits, all right? 
the ones that you can actually take online. All right, what you want to, let, let's, okay, what you need basically is a Christmas mask. It's those adversary mode Christmas masks. Those are the ones you're looking for, okay? Now, um, the things you want to stay away from, you want to stay away from beast hands, and you know what I mean. They got like furry, furry wrists and stuff, and they look like beastly, and they got uh, long nails. You want to stay away from those. Those will mess up the outfits and not let them transfer online properly. Uh, invisible arms and hands can also have beast hands, so we tend to stay away from those. Invisible feet, those could be like the elf feet and stuff, so stay away from invisible feet. Uh, clothing with a lot of layers. If there's too much layers, there's probably going to be something on there that's going to conflict with it transferring online, so I would stay away from those. Also, stay away from Christmas tops, scarves, bottoms, and shoes. All you want is a Christmas mask. If there's anything else Christmassy on it, it could mess up the transfer online, so stay away from everything like that, all right? And obviously we're using the joggers outfit shortlisted so that we can get a bunch of joggers outfits or Tron pants. That's what this leads to, okay? So I hope that kind of goes over, you know, your best chances of what kind of outfits you can get. But anyways, I went and I went ahead and I was like, you know what, let me try to get this outfit online. It has a Christmas mask. There's nothing too crazy about the outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and shortlist this outfit by pressing Y or triangle. So shortlist it. Once you've shortlisted it, you're just gonna back up out of that menu and go to shortlisted actors, okay? So as you can see right here, I shortlisted it. I'm gonna back out, go to shortlisted actors. My glitch character's on the bale of hay. Go ahead and switch to that shortlisted one. You see he's on the hay. All you gotta do now is hit A or X and he's just gonna like transport himself to the trailer and walk out, okay? So hit A or X right now. And you see that? We're gonna be walking out. So at this point, I'm just gonna skip forward. We were doing the save method here, but I'm gonna show you what happens when you fail and when if you didn't go online previously, okay? You see on this first attempt, I forgot to go online. Look at the bottom right. I'm actually gonna get a quitting session, okay, instead of joining GTA Online first. So you see quitting session first? That is because I didn't go online previous to doing the glitch. Every time before you do this glitch, you need to get online. Invite only session, public session, anything like that. You need to just head online first, okay? If you don't head online, that quitting session will come up and pretty much 100% of the time, you're not gonna get the outfit. You see, I spawned down and I don't have the outfit. I still have the normal, you know, non-glitched outfit, all right? So, if you do fail though, getting the outfit, this is how you need to reset every single time to increase your chances, okay? And I'm telling you, I put this in the video so you guys can know, because you're gonna fail a bunch, all right? But you to increase your chances, this is what you do. When you're back in story, go ahead and go to the game tab, go to load game, and load up that saved game that you have that has the bird peyotes and the shortlisted actors and all that stuff, okay? So I'm back in story mode right now. What did I say to do before you do the glitch again? Go online, okay? So go to Play GTA Online, go into an invite-only session, you know, solo session, crew session, whatever, all right? And you see we're spawning online, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to story mode. Now I'm ready to go ahead and do the glitch, okay? So I went ahead and I did the entire glitch again, the one I just showed you. I found this outfit right here, okay? It has a Christmas mask, and there's not too many crazy layers on it, all right? It seems like, a, you know, an outfit I could potentially get. So I'm gonna go ahead and shortlist it by pressing wire triangle, back out of the menu, go to shortlisted actors. I'm on the bale of hay now. I'm gonna go ahead and select the outfit that I want, which is that one right there, and go ahead and hit A or X to exit, all right? So you guys should all be with me right now. Really simple how to do this, okay? I've shown you the entire glitch. Now I'm gonna show you the save method, okay? So once we're outside right here from the trailer, we're actually in director mode, okay? As you can see on the top right. This is the save method. Super simple. All you got to do is open up your interaction menu, and we're gonna hit quit director mode. Okay. Now this is normally where people are saying go ahead and join a friend in a different targeting mode, except the first alert, decline the second, or a recent. You don't have to do that. Open up your interaction menu, hit up once, and then hit A or X, and you're gonna see what comes up. Boom. You see that? You want to launch director mode. There you go. Go ahead and just hit select X on that. Okay. You can hear it in the background. All right. So once you've done that, go ahead and hit enter director mode from the trailer, okay? So once we come back into director mode, all we gotta do is open up the interaction menu again, and we're actually gonna quit director mode one more time, okay? Well, actually, I think this is the second to last time. Oh no, yeah, this is the last time. So you see right there, no infinite black screen, we're back in story mode and we still have the outfit. Just go ahead and press pause, go to online, and go to creator. Now, if you notice in the top right, you'll actually see you have zero dollars, okay? That's a good sign. And if you see at the bottom uh, right, I have joining GTA Online instead of quitting session. 
that's a good indication that it's possible you're going to get the outfit. All right, that's what you want to see joining GT Online. If you see quitting session, you probably most likely will not get the outfit. So I'm just fast forwarding. I'm spawning down and check it out. I have the outfit minus the Christmas mask, okay? The Christmas mask is what lets the rest of the outfit come online. But as you can see right there, we got our modded outfit, all right? So depends on what you're looking for, guys, but this glitch is working. Super easy save method right there. Once you're in the session that you spawned in, make sure to go to a clothing store and, you know, go to an open slot and save the outfit, all right? Make sure after doing all that work, you want to make sure that you save the outfit, okay? Those of you looking for blue and white joggers, you can still get them with this, all right? You know, your chances are still pretty good. I was able to get them a while back. I haven't done the glitch in a while, but, you know, after you save your outfit also, make sure to select an outfit, change an accessory or something to get that orange save icon at the bottom right. You see that? Make sure to get that save icon, okay? Once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. You should be. I'm just going to show you right now while, while we're, you know, ending this video. I'm going to show you all the modded outfits that I got. You see I got blue joggers. I got white joggers also. You guys can get all these cool outfits and joggers that you want by doing this glitch, okay? If you want to know the joggers trick, remember, I will leave a link in the pinned comment on how I got a joggers outfit shortlisted before I did this glitch, okay? Before I did it this way, all right? So... That's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. My name's Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25K. Peace.